because I'd struggled the year before with the, the Achilles problem and it just it was it took me out of it. So after the Ebbs Fleet game when we got through, I can't remember the, the amount of days between the games. Was it a Sunday and then Saturday? Was it like six uh, days? It was six or seven days, yeah. Yeah, so I I felt my Achilles in the Ebbs Fleet game, managed to get through it. And, you know, you're thinking, no, don't do this to me again kind of thing. So I did not train the whole week. Luckily, uh, um, Mickey Mellon was, was really good with me. He's like, just look after yourself, do what you need to do. So in the back of my head still, my preparation going into the Wembley game, it was it was always in the back of my head. I still don't feel right, but just get through it, get through it. And eventually, when you've got Achilles problems, like I think it puts extra pressure on you and your, your soleus and your calves and got to a certain stage, did a movement and it just tore. I think, yeah, it was like a grade two or three. I, was, I knew I was done instantly. It wasn't one of them. You've been there, Jay, on your way. You can probably get through things and you just keep soldiering on, but... I know there's a joke about the me what Jay said earlier and that with certain injuries and stuff, but I know I know when I I know when I know. Um and it was devastating because like you say, I've never played at Wembley before. Um all my family was there and it was it was a massive occasion and to to sort of accept defeat and have to come off. It's it's not an easy one to take. But going off, I instantly went and sat with rides. Wiped his tears a little bit because he even sat there with tears for 40 minutes. <laughs> and then we just, a bit, I don't know, a bit of a bonding moment. Like we were there together and we just supported the lads and it was, uh, yeah, turned out amazing. And I can't remember the second part of your question, Matt. What was it? Were you still in the change rooms when the goal went in, was... when, it, when it came 1-1? Yeah, yeah. And funny enough, because I know, know what Mac had been like through the years, I, I didn't know exactly what would happen, but I knew when they scored. And I know Jay all knows Macca's character better than me, probably, but I knew something was going to be said. And I'm sat there, <laughs> sat there with ice on my calf, so I'm thinking, oh, God, here they come. And then you're just bracing yourself for an argument. But you have a bit of self-talk, don't you? I'm like, no, I'm injured. I'm not, get, I'm not backing down from this. No matter what he says, I'm not backing down. So he came in and we had a bit of a, a ding-dong and that. And then, like I say, Mickey came in between it compose the lads and uh, and yeah well there they go me and Maka like he wanted to kill me at half time but then after the game we it was like we were best friends and we have shared so many amazing times moments on the bus afterwards and that and I like with Scotty I had that relationship with Maka we had a, we had a love-hate relationship for you Jay when Richie goes down are you bouncing off the bench thinking it's my time to shine uh, yeah, because I think I looked around. I can't remember who else was on the bench. Uh, Eddie had gone on, uh, and Lana would Lana go on and come off. Uh, Lana started, but came off after seven minutes for Eddie uh, oh, and Josh Ginelli came off for Connor. Yeah, yeah, and then I can't, I can't remember, remember the bench either. Remind us, Matt. Let's have a look. Uh, that is a, a very uh, good was question. The uh, uh, was substitute Shane was, was he it was Mangi. It was Andy oh, Mangan right. and it was Reese Taylor. Yeah. Oh, so Mangan, I, Mangan I, be fuming we forgot about him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I remember, yeah, because uh, I thought, well, I'm the only other option. So, and then I thought, I'll go on in at right back because I played a couple of previous games at right back. And then I went on at right back. Uh, and I just wanted to get on because my type of player I was, I'd be more influential influential in that game in terms of aggression, fitness, keeping a shape, especially from the back. I didn't need to I went at Eddie Clark that was going to overlap and get forward. Obviously when I come on Mac I said just sit in your shape. Let's just let's just see the games out. I think we were actually going for penalties at one point saying like let's just stay in the game and go to penalties and ride our luck type thing. Uh, and we I thought we'd done it really well. I think they had one or two half chances but never really got a chance but Getting onto the field to help the lads was was brilliant for me. And what capacity I thought if I get ten minutes here or there. But fortunately for me and unlucky for Richie, it was obviously just before half time. Do you know going back to what the, the, the beginning of this the discussion, like, I did find it strange at the time. This was probably part of Jay's frustration as well, uh, going a little bit different point. But I'd played a lot of right back over the years and stuff, and I, I come from that position, right footed, and Jay had been playing right back leading up to it. I do remember when it's like, well, Manny's going to play right back. It was so peculiar, wasn't it, Jay? It, yeah, it just didn't seem to fit. It started, was it the start, start of the Ebbs Fleet game? I don't think he played in the Ebbs Fleet game right back, did he? 
Um, but the, I, I, the, the I, first thing to say is that I, if Adam Buxton had a hernia problem, didn't he? So he basically ruled himself out. I think he, he came off in the Halifax game, which would have been the penultimate Saturday of the season. Yeah. So he couldn't play. Uh, and I'm just looking up the, the fixtures now to see who played in that, that Ebbs Fleet yeah. game. I remember that um, Halifax game, Jay. Do you remember Nico turning up and he'd, his car had been towed because he had no tax? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God, never oh. forget that. Um, yeah, so, so, so Bucko played the 82 20. minutes against Ebb's fleet. Um, yeah. You come on in well, extra time. I, yeah, I remember coming on it. Uh, 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 I think I come on centre mid as well. But the Halifax thing, because remember, you might remember this, Rich. Bucko had been carrying the injury for a while. And uh, obviously, I was going to play right back, I think I did previously. And he said, No, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna play because I'm going to get me an uh, appearance bonus. So we only literally played 10, 15 minutes, come off. And then I have to go on. So I knew I was going on anyway. Because he was he was, he was finished, Bucko. But he was like, I'm going to get me an appearance bonus, really. <laughs> he won't mind me saying that. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so I played that game. And then. Obviously, we know because you do the shape on a Friday. Uh, so, I was off the team, but I can't remember who played the right back in the Epps Fleet one. It, it was I'm Buxton. Sure it was. Buxton played oh, 82 yeah. minutes. Oh, in the Epps Fleet one? Mm. Yeah. Did he? So, again, Bucko. And then, obviously, going into the final, I think Bucko ruled himself out. I'd played right back previously. I'm going to play. Uh, and then, for some funny, as Richie said, it was like, he put a big left-footed centre half right back, which Manny couldn't use his right foot. Uh, all right, if you were to put Richie right back, and uh, then again, Richie can't use his either. <laughs> no, anyway, if you were to put Richie right back and Manny centre half, I'd have been fine with that. It was just that it was just a bit weird, but listen, it was what it was. What it was, it got us over the line, so I can't complain. <laughs> 